Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been so long since I have posted a video on here. I literally have no excuse except for the fact that life is just so hectic and so busy nowadays. I just can't keep up. Um, I have missed YouTube so much. I've been wanting to get on here and make more videos just because like my old videos, I just feel like I was so young. Like when I first started, I, I was like 14. Um, and so I just feel like it's weird. I'm about to be 21 now. So I just feel like I've changed so much. So I just wanted to get back on here and just kind of let you guys see what my life is like now. Um, I don't even know what I even want my channel to be like anymore. I, today's video is going to be just kind of like me talking to you guys and showing you guys, I can't even speak, um, showing you guys what I like to do for my makeup every day because I don't wear hardly any makeup anymore. I do work at a tanning salon, so I, I tan year round, so I don't really feel like I need to wear as much makeup just because I feel like my skin just feels and looks a little bit better when I have a tan. So I don't even know where I want to begin. I don't even know how I want to go about with my channel and like what kind of videos I want to make anymore just because I feel like I've changed so much, but we'll just see what happens and yeah, so today I'm just going to be telling you guys where I've been, what's been up, and then also do my makeup. So it's just now 1 o'clock, so I do have a little bit of time to get ready before I have to go to work. I have to be at work at 3. I have my coffee here, so we're good. I'm going to go ahead and get started. And if you're interested in seeing how I do my makeup nowadays, then just keep watching. First off, I'll just go ahead and start putting on my foundation, but I actually moved houses again. I feel like during my whole YouTube journey, I've moved houses so many times while I've had this channel. Um, and you guys have been through it all with me. You've seen me move and have like different, many different rooms. Um, but I actually live with my older sister. She, her and her fiance bought a house and I just kind of like pay rent every month to stay in like my own little room. And I love it. I've, I like having like my own space. So it's really cool. Um, so that is this little room. If you guys want me to do like a room tour or something like that, then just leave me a comment down below letting me know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start. So I've already put on my moisturizer for today. So I always use my CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion for normal to dry skin. I also put on just a little bit of my Olay SPF 15. This is for my face. Um, I don't use this every day, but my face has gotten pretty tan. And this lighting, honestly, is making me look like I have really bad raccoon eyes from, like, using, like, the tanning goggles. Um, I swear in person it's not that bad. I don't know what it is about this lighting. So for my foundation, I'm just going to be mixing a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me. This is the matte and poreless one in the shade 332 Golden Caramel. And then a little bit of the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation in the color Sand. So it's these two foundations. And then I like to just pour... A little bit of this on the back of my hand and that's honestly way too much I don't usually wear foundation anymore um, like I said I, I work at a tanning salon so I don't feel really feel the need to wear foundation I normally just do like a little bit of concealer and call it a day I feel like on camera my raccoon eyes are looking really bad so I'll just use this to kind of color correct also guys I did get a new camera so I don't know how to adjust the settings with it my old one, I had the Canon 70D and it like started glitching on me so bad. That was another reason why I stopped doing my YouTube videos. It just like would randomly stop recording. It would freeze in the middle of me like doing my makeup or like talking on the camera. So I did get a new one. This is the Canon EOS Rebel SL2. So I'm actually going to go in next with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Corrector Concealer. Um, and this is a lot lighter. It's probably not my shade, as you guys can tell. Um, but I use this underneath my eyes. I am on the hunt for, like, a really good under eye concealer. Something that helps with, like, darkness. Because I feel like I have a lot of darkness. I just don't get much sleep nowadays. I feel like I'm always, like, every day I have something to do. So... Um, if you guys know any good recommendations for like a good under eye concealer, then let me know. And I have tried Tarte, but maybe, maybe not a good concealer, but maybe like a good under eye corrector. Because I feel like maybe if I did like a corrector first and then did the concealer, then maybe that would help. Because this concealer is great, 
but I just feel like maybe my darkness needs like a little bit of corrector or something. So if you guys know a good one of those and a good concealer, then let me know. So I have my Ramel Stay Matte Loose Powder. This is the mattifying loose powder. I'm almost out of it, um, but it just looks like this. And what I like to do is actually open it so I can never get any of it out of like the little holes anymore. So I like to just... And then you can see there's just like a little bit left in there. Dab it in there. And then I just set like my under eyes. I usually just set my whole face with just like my sponge most of the time. Oh, I hope it's not getting in my coffee. Okay, we're good. Yum. That's so good. So I have like my little brushes in here. Um, and I just get like my really big brushes like this. So I got these off of Amazon and they're my favorite, favorite, favorite brushes. I have like a bunch of them that are like the rose gold and they're so soft. So I'll have to leave them linked down below if you guys want like some really good makeup brushes because they were very inexpensive and they're really good quality. So I just take, I'm probably, that's pretty much it out of this, so I'm just going to use whatever's left and just set the rest of my face. So I don't usually contour anymore, mostly what I'll do is just bronze up my face, um, and I like to use the NYX Matte Bronzer, and this is in the shade Deep Tan. Um, I've already hit pan on it, but this stuff is so good, um, and I like to use this brush, so it's another one of those rose gold brushes that I got from Amazon. Tap off the excess. I kind of just like go over my nose. Like I'm really sloppy with it. I feel like it makes it look more natural if you're not like super, super precise and like have like sharp lines everywhere and just kind of like put it everywhere basically. And that's usually all I'll do. Like it works for me. I switch up a lot. I really like the um, Milani powder blush in the shade T Rose. It's really pretty. It is really light. So sometimes I'll put this on and then I'll add another one on top. It just kind of depends on the mood that I'm in. And then another one of my favorite blushes is actually the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Shy Pink. I really like this one. Um, sometimes I'll put a little bit of this on my cheeks over top of it just because it is a little bit darker. And sometimes I'll even take my damp beauty blender and just kind of buff it in like this and just try and like melt them all together so it still looks like your skin because I hate when products like look like it's not skin if you know what I mean that's all I do for my face so then I'll just take my eyebrow brush and just brush my brows up but I don't fill my brows in or anything like that um I feel like I have pretty naturally full brows so for eyeshadow I always switch it up um since it is fall time Oh yeah, that's why I wore this flannel. I never wear flannels, but for the video I decided I would since it is October. Um, but for eyeshadow, I do like to use my Too Faced Sweet Peach. I know this palette's like really old, um, but I feel like it has really pretty fall colors like these down here. Caramelized Puree and Summer Yum. These colors are perfect for fall time. Um, and then I also just love like my Tried and True, the Morphe um, 350 palette. This palette is also perfect for fall time so I mean it just has like everything you would need for a perfect like pumpkin spice eye like it's just perfect for that and I honestly don't even have like a particular shade that I use I just grab one so I really like this shade right here for like a good transition shade it's just like that perfect like orangey brown color and I'm really really messy with my eyeshadow like I said I have been like super busy um my sister is actually getting married next month, November 2nd. Um, it's literally o October 2nd today, so literally one month away. So we have been so busy planning my sister's wedding. I'm so excited. I'm the maid of honor, so I've had so much to do planning all of her showers and just like uh, all the behind the scenes stuff, like getting all the little details ready, going to pick out her venue and just like all this fun stuff. It's just been a really, really busy year. Um, I'm so excited for the day to be here just because I feel like it's just gonna be so cool to see everything come to life. Just cause we've done so much like preparing for it. Um, 
so I'm so excited but that's another reason why I've just been so MIA lately I just I work basically every day of my life I'm off two days a week sometimes three if I get lucky after my sister's wedding I should definitely have a lot more time on my hands and just like I feel like I'll feel a little bit more relaxed um it's just gonna be really hectic because right after my sister's wedding it's gonna be like Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's and I'm just gonna be so busy but I will really really try to keep you guys in the loop and like keep you guys updated with all the holidays I feel like this is like my favorite time to make videos is like during the holiday time so if you guys have any requests like anything at all that you want to see from me just leave that in a comment below and I will definitely try and do it for you guys and now I'm just rambling on again so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my eyeshadow I'm actually gonna go into the shade I think this one this like really bright white I hope I don't regret this I think that's all I'm gonna do I'm just trying to think of different things that I need to tell you guys because I feel like you guys haven't seen me in forever <coughs> So I just put a little bit of that orange shade underneath my eyes. I don't like to do too much um, just because I feel like it almost makes my eyes look a little bit more droopy than they are. And I feel like my eyes are already so small and like almondy that it just makes my eyes look kind of closed off. Um, but I will use a little bit of this. Um, I think I'm going to take this shade down here like this gunpowder like grayish black. And I'm going to use that to line my eyes. So for my mascara, I've been using the Maybelline Total Temptation. This actually isn't my favorite mascara. I just wanted to try something new out. And I don't really love this one. I really, really love the Maybelline Lash Sensational in the light pink bottle. Um, it is, like, amazing. It makes your eyelashes look super good. Um, but this is still good. I just think it makes them look a little bit more clumpy. Like, look at the difference. So this eye this eye like look at how open that eye is and then I do like to put just a little bit on the bottoms I change it up all the time most of the time I don't usually wear anything but like just like a lip gloss um, but lately I've been using this Tarte Wonder lip surge lip cream it's just like this little trial thing that I got again in like a boxy charm or an ipsy bag um, and this is in the shade oh I think this is in the shade Wonder so it's just a lip surge lip cream um, but it's super, super bright pink, so, or it's kind of like a reddish pink, so what I'll do is just line the outside of my lips with it, and then I get a finger, my finger, and I just pat it in. So, I like this because it does give my lips, like, some color but I also like to use this city lips um, it's like a lip plumping lip gloss I actually sell it at my tanning salon it's one of my favorite colors um, and it's in the shade pink nude so what I like to do is actually put this on top because you can't wear this one alone I feel like it just washes me out but with this color underneath it looks really pretty so I just place it right in the middle and it almost just makes like the perfect nude to where like the outline of your lips is darker and that's usually it. And then this is the eyes. So nothing too dramatic. Just, it really does, if you have blue eyes, it's going to make your eyes pop. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So I think I'm at like 4,000. I'm really trying to get to 5K um, by the end of this year, especially if I start posting a lot more videos, I kind of want to make like a video schedule. So once I get that all situated and I actually start posting regularly again, I will let you guys know what days I'm going to start posting. I want to do at least once a week, maybe even twice a week if possible. Um, I'm thinking maybe like a Tuesday, Thursday, or like a Monday, Friday. I don't know. I want to do that so that way you guys know on those specific days I'm going to have a video up. So um, just make sure to subscribe, stay on the lookout, keep your eyes peeled because I definitely want to start making YouTube videos again. I have missed it so much. Um, and just let me know like what you guys want to see from me. Um, I feel like I've said the word um so many times, but it's now 1.44. I have to pick up something for lunch before I go to work and head to work so I love you guys so much and don't forget to subscribe like this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye